So this is the probe station, right? We installed last time and it is connected to the pump. So I think we can turn on the pump. Okay. The pump is to help to uh, suck the dye so it attached to here. This is one by one millimeter, right? And then now we have the four probe tip move to close to it. And these are the four probe, right? One, two, three, four. Now, so we plan to use it this way because uh, there are four pads, right? Out, the, the top will be the output and then the second one will be the VDD. No, the second one will be the input. Why is that VDD 10 volt? For the, for the previous lab, right? So we should remove it. And then we have this uh, one volt VDD and grunt. Yeah. So to be clear, Right, so this is the microscope, right? That we uh, that we see, and our goal and our goal is to make this one to the output. This one is to the input, right? And this one is the VDD, and this one is the graph, right? So the TA already set up everything, right? Very nicely. So let's take a look. Right, this is a coaxial cable, and we use this a uh, splitter. To split it into a signal and ground so all of them has a coaxial so it has two outputs because of the ground plane so we need to connect all the ground together okay and particular for this probe uh, we want to make it as ground so even the signal itself is grounded okay this one is to be connected to VDD right so uh, it's ground, it's, it's a sh outer shell, shoe was connected to ground and then this is the signal connected to VDD coming to this uh, voltage generator. So we'll make it into one volt, right? Can you make it into one volt? Okay, so the uh, for TSMC 45 nanometer, the VDD is one volt, right? And then ground is grounded already. They share by this yellow line. Yeah. Oh, I did not do it well. Yeah. This one. So it's all grounded. Yeah. All common ground. Now and then we have the this oscilloscope, right? So we are uh, measuring the signal to here which will come to here, which is the top right of the probe station, right? So this one will be the output, which one? I see the signal here, right? That's the input. This black one is the input. It's oh, you, you connected the input yes. already. Oh, okay, not this one. Okay, this one is not working. Yes. Okay, I see, this one is not working. Okay, so we already have the input signal, right? So, and this signal comes from here, right? The oscilloscope. Uh, I mean the signal generator and it should go to this uh, this one but it's difficult to see like all the way to I think it's not a good video okay so as soon as it's connected okay then what should we do now now we will just uh, move the probe tip connect them Right, and because you already turn on the signal, so they are all at one volt or a few volt, no electrostatic charge. That's why we connect it first. Uh, I mean, turn on the power first, right? So maybe one of you can start connecting them, yeah. so that you can see where it is. Go down. It's too far away. You can see the image, right? These are touching are very sharp. This one is far from from that, right? Yeah. No, no, it's better. Yeah. Um, I think. No, no. We'll keep it on. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then pull back a little bit and go down a little bit. 
pull back and then go down. Yeah, and then go down one more time. Then we know there is a good content. Yeah. Yeah, good. Go down. Very good. Is it? Yeah. And then now go down, start try to land, landing, right? Slowly. And you okay? Now you see this is uh, overshoot a little bit, right? The landing. Go back. Go back. Go back. Yeah. Right. And try to land again. Yeah. And then go back. You see it's still overshoot, right? Go back more. Yeah. Go back more. Very good. Yeah, now you see now you're here, right? Right at the middle. Now you can go go down. Then Okay, and maybe too much pull back. Yes. And landing. Excellent. I think you are there, right? I think so. Yeah. See. So if we look at the biasing point of this output, right? It is about 380 millivolts, but of course we know that uh, there's a uh, this is a, a sine wave, so you minus 50 to is about 330 millivolt, right? Yeah. Now the this the DC current is about 16 microampere, and then multiplied by our resistor, which is 40 40 40.7 40 40 kilo ohm. Yes. That should one volt minus this potential drop is about 389 millivolt. millivolt. So approximately it's correct, right? So it's very good, right? Uh, everything lo looks working, yeah. right? Yeah. So the green one is the input, right? Actually, uh, the input is 20 millivolt P2P, and then the output is the purple one, right? So if you look at the division, it's 50 millivolts, then now it's about 110 or 112. Really? About, the gain is about 6. Yeah. And that is frequency equal to 50 kilohertz, right? Can we go to 100 kilohertz? Now, if you go to 100 kilohertz, the it is still the same, right? The input is, uh, yeah, the input is still uh, about 20, right? Where the input in D is 20. We, I mean, if you do this, right, it's, what's that? Yeah, right, 20 p to p right? But then for the uh, purple one, doesn't work. No, because the DC is getting So we can move this down. One off. So anyway, we can read the reading is about 70, yes. 80, right? Yes, yes. So now the gain is 4. Yes. So it starts dropping at 100 kilohertz, right? But our simulation showed that it actually dropped later right and with the uh, the actually the first pole actually was uh, later also in simulation and i think the reason is because we are using this probe station it probably probably present a very large capacitor we were not able to put a big capacitor uh, as the coupling capacitor on chip right so as a result we need to go to about 100 kilohertz to have a decent gain of eight but now even at 50 kilohertz, we already get a gain of uh, six. What if we go to 10 kilohertz? Right, so now it becomes 156, so the gain is about eight, yeah. seven to eight, yeah. right? This is 50 kilohertz. Yeah. Can we go to uh, what? what? 10 10. So the peak is ab uh, about yes. 10 kilohertz, which is about eight, yes. similar to our simulation, but the whole thing got shifted, oh. and I don't know why. I guess it is because of the huge parasitic yes. capacitor. Make sense? Yep. Okay. Good. Um,